Alright guys, Will here from ZaltechReviews.com uh, Today I'm taking a look at a brand I've not reviewed before However, I did actually buy this watch last year Then I sold it, then I bought another one uh, And this, is, this was bought the exact same time as my original one Because I got this from a friend and it was him that actually uh, made me aware of this brand and I thought I should get that review it because it is a lovely watch uh, the company is called Not Designs that's K-N-O-T by the way this model is called the AT1-40S and obviously it's a sports watch White dial, and it's pure white dial by the way, it's not silver or any crap like that. Um, that's basically it, really. Uh, play the intro. Right guys. Um, I, I'm not 100% sure that these would be classed as a micro brand If you look at their website and that uh, I really don't think that they are a micro brand Definitely it's more kind of exclusive to Japan, the Japanese market and you can tell actually as soon as you start handling the watch really good quality and extremely tight tolerances especially with this bracelet it's a bit of a, an arse try to fit the bracelet because as I say the tolerances are super tight but once fitted hey, fantastic really nice watch uh, the, the price of these are with the bracelet, because what you do is you buy the watch and you can choose a normal leather strap if that's your way or you can get this um, bracelet. Obviously, I wanted the bracelet. So, you're looking at a total price of $689. Quite expensive. However, I think it is actually worth it because... Just looking at the specs on paper, nothing's been missed. And I'll go through, I'll cover that as I go through the specifications. Um, right, let's get into it then. Right, case diameter, let me just move that a wee bit. Case diameter, 40.3 mil. The watch has a total thickness of 11.2mm, a lug to lug of 47.6mm, uh, and the watch does have a 19mm lug width, which is a bit unfortunate, if you want to put your own straps on and all the rest of the stuff. However, I'd suggest you buy the bracelet, because it looks fabulous with this bracelet. Uh, right, where was I? Ah, the total weight um, on with the bracelet size for my 6.8 inch wrist is 136 grams. Right, movement wise, it's a fully regulated Moyota 9015, 28,800 vibrations an hour, hackable, self winding, with a 42 hour power reserve. The case. It is brushed and polished, but as you can see here, the finishing is stunning. This is this is a step up, right? If you're thinking, oh, that's too expensive, blah, blah, blah. I mean, the finishing is outstanding. It really is. Polishing's fantastic as well. Really high quality. I really like the overall design of this watch. 
but it's not perfect. And I'll get into that later. Uh, sorry, the case, it's brushed on the sides. The, the chalk part, you can see the lugs there, they're polished, but there is a brushed part there. Is it brushed in there? No, I think that's polished as well. All right, the top's polished and the sides are brushed. Now, as you can see, it is, as I said, the quality of finishing is fantastic. And I, also, the the build quality, as I said, we fitting the bracelet, the tolerances are extremely tight. The absolutely zero wiggle there. Uh, at the logs, it's great. The bracelet is the same, uh, but it's brushed sides, brushed on top with polished center links, and the quality of the polishing is great. Obviously, I have been wearing this, so there might be a wee bit, say, dust and whatnot. But this watch itself is actually around six, seven months old, something like that. And to the naked eye, I mean, I'm showing you this quite close up. And I'm recording in 4K, so you might see a couple of blemishes here and there. But see, to the naked eye, it still looks, you know, immaculate. Oh, aye, the bracelet. It, uh, what's the... It's pinning collar for the bracelet. Um, but once you size it, it's fine. Perfect. You only need to do it once, and it's done. Uh, what's the rest of the... It's solid links, obviously, throughout. Uh, and it does, unfortunately, have a butterfly clasp. A wee bit of plastic there. I'll get that later. Um, I but and normally I don't like these, but this watch, because the links are quite small, I managed to get a perfect fit. So it shouldn't be a problem with the link size. Right, what's next? The bezel was brushed. It's fully brushed, by the way. Um, 316, uh, 316L stainless steel it's a fixed bezel so they're not going to mess up the alignment or anything like that which is a bonus because that's one of my pet peeves I really like that they haven't hang on oh I just had my breakfast I do apologise. Um, I really nice, and it's the markers are filled with black enamel. That's a better angle. It's really nice. I do like that. It is a sports watch after all. Lovely. Uh, done that right. Crystal flat sapphire, and there is a shit ton of AR coatings on this. Um, even although it's a white dial and it's just like gunmetal slash dark silver hour markers, legibility. I mean, I, I mean, unless you point it directly to the sun when you're outside, you're not going to see shit really. Uh, but. 90% of the time, perfectly legible. And it does, even on camera there, it does come across as kind of darker markers rather than the more lighter. The, I talking to the dial itself, I've, I've took some B-roll and whatnot, I'll put that up so you can see. Um, it's a matte dial. However, there's different colourways there's three, uh, three colourways in total. 
So they're slightly different finishing. I believe the blue version is Sunburst, the black, I think it's Sunburst, I can't remember. You'll see it on screen. And there's also this white one, which is a matte dial. But it does have like... Oh, it's not. It's, well, I'll just try to think that. See the AR code in there? See how, that's me pointing at that light. And you can still see the time, and that light that's shining on there is well over a thousand uh, lumens. Lumens, is that right? Aye. I didn't review lights, by the way, so I didn't know the terminology. It's bright as fuck, put it that way. Um, i done that. The cu uh, custom hands as well, which are really nice, and I think... In my opinion, these are perfectly sized. The minute hand goes right out almost to the minute track. Well, it does really. And I think the other hand's perfectly sized as well. Uh, nice seconds hand as well. It's just basically needle with the counterbalance. But the counterbalance, if I can get it on screen, Christ, I thought it was a logo, but it's not. It's just like a, how you, like thread and a needle type counterbalance. Oh well. No, that matters. It's lovely. Right, where was I? Uh, the hour markers are applied, and there's also a date at three, but it, there's no frame on the date, which is good. Just a chamfered edge. Well, there is a slight frame, but it's totally sunken in at the dial. Focus. See it there? It's all good. I don't have any issues with that. Um, but right, where am I? Oh, the lumen this. It is Swiss Super Luminova uh, BGW9, and it's grey day. And it's pretty much the perfect application. That I've seen executed very well, nice and even across the hour markers and the hands. Great job, perfect for a sports watch. Water resistance is surprisingly higher than you might expect. This one is 200 meters, wobble jubbly. Um, I think that obviously the case, the case back is screwed down, as is the crown, so that's all good. Uh, oh, I, I'll show you the case back quickly. As you can see, there is finishing on the movement. It's really nice. Uh, that's Sapphire Crystal, by the way. Another bonus. Basic specs around the edge and whatnot. But, again, I apologise if you can see any dirt or anything. I did give it a clean before I've done this review so hopefully you don't see too much uh, the rotor by the way is also, well it's slightly custom it does have their logo in that on there but aye, really good quality and that's what this watch is all about in my opinion uh, the crown, the crown six mil, by the way, and signed, and screwed down as I mentioned. Uh, ah, color options have covered that: white, black, or blue. You can buy these, uh, but you need to import it from Japan directly. So I will give you a warning: there will be import charges uh, to the UK or basically anywhere. America and whatever. I don't know, maybe no, because that's below their threshold, isn't it? I wish the UK took the US uh, import charge thing, you know, like if it's above, if it's below $800, you don't pay anything. But here in the UK, you get blooming fucked up the arse, basically. 
because of that oh, it's the worst thing to rip off Britain as they call it uh, and also to back up the product a uh, product not designs actually give you a three year warranty on this watch which is above your normal maker brand but as I say I don't think this is a maker brand now I said earlier that I didn't think this watch was perfect but I'm now only talking this might be perfect for somebody that's looking at this watching this video and they go oh I really like that I like size blah 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 um, now if, I, if this was my watch the first thing I would do is definitely give a 20mm lug width because strap changes would be so much like universal because I mean I've got tons of uh, 20mm straps and all that but as I say I wouldn't take the bracelet off I might give it I might change the class in fact I probably would because I just don't like these however I do get a perfect uh, fit with this as you can see also it's, it's nicely done with the logo there too as well on that polished part uh, but I'll probably give it a slightly diver style class but a thin one so it or you know looks the part better rather than a big chunky dive class uh, just a thin one with micro adjust and what not uh, that's what I would do Changes to the dial itself, I think the only thing I would do, I love the design, obviously the chapter ring sloped by the way, and up the bezel, everything, the only thing I think I would change is put the date at 6, just so everything is perfectly aligned, you know what I mean, rather than having the date at 3, put it at 6! Other than that, perfect. Um, I was thinking about this earlier. I'm thinking about awards for this watch. It is expensive, plus you'll have import charges if you're bringing it to the UK. Uh, so, it's no getting a platinum award. Definitely recommended, highly recommended. If you can stomach the price, which I think... What does that work out in pounds? It's about 500. But then the import charge bumps it up. <sighs> Fuck it. Recommended. Definitely. If you're okay with the price. Which I was when I first ordered it. Um, and it is beautiful watch. Perfect build quality. Lovely finishing. And it is punching above what you would normally buy with uh, like a Miyota 9015 normally it would be up like $500 or under um, but I think the, the build quality and the finishing makes up for that right recommended that's it I'm not going to waffle anymore I think I've said enough thanks very much for watching guys um, please like the video comment below if you've just let me know what you think because this is this doesn't get reviewed I've not seen many reviews on this brand uh, so let me know in the comment section right I'll see you in the next video guys toodles